from science fiction to science fact, imaging's evolving role in modifying and monitoring mental health and social identity. The movie Minority Report asks, what if we could predict murders? What if, knowing the future, we could intervene to modify it? This is science fiction. Science fact is that there are distinct brain activity patterns associated not only with criminal behavior, but also creativity, as well as future language ability in infants, and maybe even ADHD, IQ, and resilience in utero. Granted, at present, these predictions have limited accuracy in individuals, but increasingly, we're able to intervene to modify and treat these expected outcomes. Functional MRI is a powerful tool for monitoring brain activity. Of three major functional networks related to mental health, shown here in red, orange, and green, the control network, orange, serves a critical role as a switching hub, directing the brain's attention between the other networks, sort of like King's Cross Station in London. The insula is a key anatomic structure within this control network, and as such, it's a common denominator for several different forms of mental illness associated with network dysfunction. Insula activity, for example, can help guide depression treatment. Specifically, if the right anterior insula is hypometabolically active on PET scans, patients respond to cognitive behavioral therapy but not antidepressants. If it's hypermetabolically active, however, they respond to medication but not talk therapy. Similar relationships exist between the amygdala and anxiety and PTSD. Other biomarkers can help manage social disorders, such as personal space dysfunction and schizophrenia. People don't like having their personal space invaded, and schizophrenic patients can have abnormally large personal spaces, which correlates with their level of social functioning. There's a reproducible pattern of brain activity that imaging could show that may be modifiable. Specifically, the Virtual reality simulations have already been used to help modify the brain's behavioral response in schizophrenia. The ability of brain structure and function to be modified with training, such as biofeedback, or interventions, such as transcranial magnetic stimulation, is called neuroplasticity. Examples of neuroplasticity include aerobic exercise and mindfulness for social anxiety, compassion meditation for emotional ability, and even guided meditation for a better golf game. Check out the Be The Ball website. By the way, we've learned from scanning Tibetan monks that compassion and empathy are two very different things involved in different brain circuits, but also with different emotional responses. Functional MRI can also provide a crude form of mind reading. You can show subjects movies in the scanner, decode their pattern of brain activity, and process that data to create images of what they're actually seeing. This isn't science fiction, but don't worry about anyone hacking into your secret dreams just yet. Decoding brain activity is not close to being reliable or routine, and in fact, a recent Frontiers of Neuroscience paper speculated this is an 11-dimensional algebraic topology problem involving 86 billion highly interconnected neurons. That said, focus decoding using brain-computer interfaces is already here. Implantable microchips on the brain cortical surface can decode neuron fighting pa firing patterns and send signals to control computer mice, speech synthesizers, and prosthetic limbs. Check out this clip of a woman with spinal cord injury who, after 15 years of paralysis, was able to drink coffee with a robot arm controlled only by her thoughts. Will treating psychiatric and social disorders with implantable microchips be next? In conclusion, human brains evolve to be deeply social, and our social identity continues to evolve with brain implants, human-machine interfaces, and other neurotechnologies. Next up for Homo sapiens may be leveraging the power of quantum supremacy. Google announced this fall that a 53-qubit quantum computer could solve a math problem in three minutes 
that would take our most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years. Although we're still decades away from routine, reliable quantum computing, when that happens, it will likely be a game changer, moving us as AI as a tool, a tool for augmented human intelligence to true, full artificial intelligence. How our human social identity will change once that singularity is reached is impossible for even Hollywood to predict. Thank you.